Kings, proud family members, please stand for the processional as your graduating family members will enter the room and please remain standing for the acknowledgement of traditional lands and the Canadian national anthem.
We acknowledge we are hosted on the lands of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. the anthem. Thank you, Miss Whiteside and the concert band. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Don Mills 2019 Commencement Ceremony. I'm Mr. Blatt, and I'm pleased to begin this evening's proceedings. A few announcements. Please avoid disrupting the presentations by leaving and re-entering the auditorium. We also ask that the audience turn off their cell phones, and that goes for you too, graduates. You may sit. <laughs> okay. Family members, if you wish to take a photo of your child on stage just before they're called, please go to the West Wall area for just a minute or two as there is limited space for everyone. When taking photographs of your graduate receiving their diploma, please make sure that the people seated behind you can see. Once you've taken your photo, please return to your seat. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. I would like to take a moment to introduce the platform party. Please stand as you're able as I call your name. Mr. Bushell, our principal. Our school trustee, Dixie Doyle. The Honorable Yasmin Ratansi, our Member of Federal Parliament. <laughs> Ms. Evans, our Vice Principal. <laughs> Ms. Sivaraja, also our Vice Principal. <laughs> Ms. Sivaraja. <laughs> we have many other dignitaries on platform here tonight. The following are among the teachers at DMCI, most of whom are assistant curriculum leaders. Thank you for saving your applause until all have been introduced. They are as follows. Ms. Barkley, Ms. Bango, Ms. Cameron, Ms. DeJesus, Ms. El Arabi, Mr. Gross, Ms. Giannata, Mr. Gibson, Ms. Morneau, Mr. Radulovic, Ms. Rayner, Mr. Salakis, Mr. Stoitsiadis, Ms. Varelis, Ms. Burns, our union branch president, and Mr. Hall, who's here with his father. Mr. Hall Sr., it's an honor to have you here as always. Thank you all. Applause. I will now call upon Trustee Doyle to bring her greetings. Okay. Thank you all for inviting me to join the Don Mills Collegiate Commencement this year to celebrate the success of the 2019 graduates. I've been to many graduations this year, and for some, it was their first graduation from kindergarten or grade five. For others, like the students here tonight, it will be their last graduation ceremony in our board. Thinking back to your first graduations, 
Some parents have told me that they can't believe that this day is finally here. It feels like their children have grown up in an instant, and yet so much has changed. The students before us tonight are so much bigger, so much smarter, much more independent, and have grown from the young children we knew into the adults before us tonight. But not everything about them has changed. The things that make them unique, their special traits and gifts that were just starting to blossom in elementary school are still there. Whether it was a quirky sense of humor, asking a million questions, always wanting to be a helper, leading others, marching to the beat of their own drum, or developing a specific passion in arts, athletics, math, science, history, these seeds have grown and are still a part of who they are. It's now time for our students to take all they have learned and all their gifts and move on to the next stage of life. Some of our students already know what path they want to take. Others will go in directions no one can predict. But all of them have many opportunities ahead of them, and I wish them all great success. On behalf of the Toronto District School Board, I want to thank all the staff members who have helped the students throughout their journey. I want to thank all the parents and family members who gave you the support you needed to be here today. And to the 2019 graduates of Don Mills Collegiate, I wish you a wonderful summer break and give a big congratulations on your graduation. Way to go. Thank you, Trustee Doyle. I now call upon our principal, Mr. Bushell, to say a few words. Good evening, and welcome to our commencement ceremonies for the class of 2019. I'd like to extend a special welcome to the parents and guardians, families and friends of the graduates, our special guests, the teachers and staff of Don Mills CI, the Don Mills Concert Band, everyone watching on the webcast, and most importantly, to our graduates themselves. I'd also like to thank all those who've worked tirelessly for this evening's ceremony, in particular Ms. Sivaraja, Ms. Loney, and all our secretaries. Today is an important milestone in the lives of our graduates. You've made it. You're now a high school graduate. Although it's a cliche that your high school commencement is the beginning of the rest of your lives, it doesn't make it any less true. Many great experiences and opportunities lie ahead of you if you're willing to take the risks. In a moment, I'm gonna perform a piece of music from Carousel, You'll Never Walk Alone. For those of you who don't know it, some of the words are, walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone.
In conclusion, tonight is a time for celebration. Celebrate what you have achieved. Tomorrow, unleash the enormous potential that is in you. Congratulations to all our graduates and their families. Thank you, Mr. Bushell. Please welcome everyone, the Honorable Rutansi, to the address. This is what happens when you're five foot nothing. Uh, principals, teachers, parents, and of course the graduates. This is a wonderful time for you. As I look at you, you are the excited graduates who say, I don't have to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> and there are the parents who say, I hope she finds or he finds a job for the summer. But this is your time. You are graduating. And I, as a member of parliament, it is my pleasure to be with you and celebrate with you. This is an important milestone in your lives. You've worked hard and you continue your journey, whether you're going to university or college, I wish you continued success. We all know that education is a lifelong process. I, as a member of parliament, I'm an accountant by trade. And I thought, you know what, I finish my studies, I'll do accountancy, et cetera. And then I ended up re doing receiverships and mergers and acquisitions and ended up in politics. Do you know what I do in politics? I do procurements. I am in charge of procuring jets, shipbuilding. And I'm thinking they're saying, how the hell did I end up here? Aha. Uh -huh. Therefore. Continuous learning, you have to know everything about a contract. You have to know everything about veterans because that's what takes our military. And so you keep on expanding your knowledge base because there is no dearth to knowledge. You know that knowledge is a continuum and you will have to keep on educating yourself. We also know that artificial intelligence is going to replace 50% of the jobs as we know it. And that is why our government has been putting money into innovations. And we have, around this area, if you are into innovative stuff, there are businesses in Don Valley East who employ people who are in the artificial intelligence field, in the innovation field, in research and development. And I think it is critical that as you go forward, you look at all the potential that is available to you. This is a challenging time, but it gives you much opportunities. So as you move along, you need to find also, you know, we use the cell phone a lot and we are so uh, engrossed. If I want to talk to her, I'd rather communicate on a telephone rather than speak to her face to face. And that's what we have lost. We have lost the social skills. And it is important that as you move forward with technology, with AI, that you also develop what is called the EQ and the social skills, because that is going to give you the competitive advantage over anybody else. Your parents, your teachers are there to support you. So as you move forward and have some challenges or have questions, these are your mentors. Don't forget to call them. Your parents will cheer you along, they'll be there for you. And therefore work hard, work ethically, and make them proud. And I wish you the best of success. Actually, you will make Canada proud because you are the potential. And I can see a lot of scientists here, a lot of space. Anybody wants to be an astronaut? Good, so there is a program for astronauts as well. So I, I, and I see you as also as leaders, as political leaders. So make the country proud and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Rutansi, for taking your time to speak with us today and we wish you all success in the upcoming campaign. Uh, the staff at DMCI are incredibly proud of all of our graduates. At this time, I would like to ask the special award winners to start lining up against the wall on your right side. Okay, and I would now like to call upon Mr. Gibson to begin this evening's proceedings with the presentation of special awards.
waiting for them to Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming. I'd like to invite Member of Parliament Rutansi to please present the first three awards. The first award of the night is the Governor General's Medal. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic standing in their final year of secondary school. On behalf of Her Excellency, the Right Honorable Julie Payette, Governor General of Canada, MP Rutansi to present Emily Mende with this award. The Lieutenant Governor's Volunteer Award is presented each year to one student for exemplary involvement in the community. This year's recipient is Anda Sue. The Councillor Minnan-Wong Community Spirit Award is presented to a graduating student who exemplifies values of good citizenship, leadership, and outstanding student involvement outside the classroom, both within the school and in the community. This year's recipient is Manas Chawa. Thank you, Member of Parliament Rutansi. I'd now like to call upon Trustee Trixie Doyle to present the following awards. The Trustee Trixie Doyle Award is presented to a graduating student who has most exemplified citizenship and cooperation toward the well-being and spirit of their school. This year's recipient is David Zolia. The SUMAS Award is presented to the top all-around male student. This year's recipient is Michael Poo. The SUMA Award is presented to the top all-around female student. This year's recipient is Natalie Vasey.
Thank you, Trustee Doyle. I'd now like to call upon Principal Todd Bushell to present the next few awards. The Ontario Principals Council Principals Award for Student Leadership recognizes outstanding leadership and extracurricular involvement in the school. This year's recipient is Nala Halasalasi. The Principal's Award for Most Determined Successful Student is presented to a graduating student who has demonstrated leadership in both school and community activities. This year's recipient is Beyonce Hogan. The valedictorian is, a, is an elected award voted on by the grade 12 graduating class based on contribution to the school, and this year's winner was Danielle Fernandez. The University of Toronto National Book Award is presented to one of our graduating students who has demonstrated superior academic performance, original and creative thought, and exceptional achievement in a broad context while still participating in school and community life. This year's recipient is Eugene Kim. Thank you, Mr. Bushell. I'd now like to ask uh, Jeff Simpson to please join us on stage. The Sam Caldwell Citivan Memorial Scholarship is awarded to students who graduate from our developmentally, developmentally delayed intensive support program to recognize their perseverance and determination to achieve success. This year, Mark Kim. And Jocelyn Cameron is here for Mark. He's receiving a Certificate of Achievement, which recognizes his outstanding learning and participation in the Don, Muse, Don Mills community. I'd like to call upon Heather Burns, our OSSTF branch president, to present the next award. The OSSTF Jim McQueen Excellence in Education Award recognizes students for their exceptional involvement and service to their school and community. This year's recipient is Molly McNiven. I'd now like to ask Mr. Hall from the Kiwanis Club. The Don Mills Kiwanis Club Golden K Scholarship is awarded for scholastic excellence and service to the life of the school. This year's recipient is Anjana Sonurandran.
to say uh, <coughs> Mr. few remarks. Uh, first off, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Principal Todd Bushel, his uh, teaching staff and his administrative staff for the great work they have done in commitment and uh, dedication to the Don Mills community and uh, the world and from other parts of the world. And Jana, who is the final recipient of this award, has uh, done an outstanding job in, in, in the scholastic excellence and her life of the school. Kiwanis Club at Don Mills has been associated with uh, Don Mills Collegiate for in excess of 25 years. And it's been a wonderful time. Unfortunately, uh, as I mentioned, and Jana is the final recipient of this award because <clears throat> we have uh, reached the point in time where our average age was 86 and a little bit of declining health uh, we were unable to continue in fundraising, and therefore we uh, have uh, been uh, dechartered from Kiwanis International and uh, will continue as a private club, but we are not able to fundraise, and therefore uh, our association with the Don Mills Collegiate Institute has, has come to an end. I'd like to congratulate all the graduates for the achievement and the dedication you've applied over the years to achieve this point in time. Please stay focused and for the future, because nothing can be achieved, you can, <clears throat> nothing you cannot achieve, no matter what your gender or orientation or religious association. That's the Canadian way. Parents, be proud. This is a day to celebrate the, de the time that you have spent and the effort you've put in to bring your children to this stage. It's wonderful. I know I've been there a couple of times and I will again tomorrow when my granddaughter graduates from Malvern Collegiate. So it's been a great association and I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, make this presentation uh, over the past several years and be a part of this presentation and celebration of the youth. Canada is in good hands. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mr. Gowala, I would like you to come up on the stage to present the next award, please. The Modi Ram Gowala Memorial Scholarship is presented to both a male and female student who are continuing on in a Canadian post-secondary institute. They have involved themselves in the life of the school while maintaining a high academic average. David Zolia and Danielle Fernandez. I'd like to call upon Vice Principal Sivaraja to present the next few awards. The Enthusiasm for Learning or the Vice Principal's Award is presented to a student who has shown originality and enthusiasm for life and learning, Eugen Kim. The DMCI's Health Sciences Award is presented to a graduating student entering their first year 
at a university in Toronto and working towards a degree in medicine or medical science. Irene Fang. The Boys Rugby Alumni Award is an elected award. This student is chosen by his peers based on his contributions to the Don Mills Rugby Program, as well as his commitment to continue to play rugby at his chosen post-secondary institution, Reed Harrison. Thank you, Mr. Viraja, you're done. Uh, Vice Principal Evans, can you come ac across the stage to present the following awards? The Renee Gordon Memorial Award is presented to a student with good overall academic standing, primarily in the liberal arts. This student has excellent communication skills, demonstrates leadership in creative, artistic aspects of school life, and demonstrates good character, judgment, and respect for others. Shashank Anand Kanan. The gifted award is presented to a student who has demonstrated excellence in overall academic performance and significant contributions to school life in the gifted intensive support program. Anjana Soman Sudaram. The CPLCC 33 Division Bursary is awarded to a graduating student who has demonstrated exceptional school and community involvement. Claire Kim. Thank you, Ms. Evans. Ms. Morneau, can you please come up to the front? The Sadie Merritt, the Sadie Marison Visual Art Award is presented to a graduating student who has demonstrated excellence in visual art, Thomas Ristoff. The Sadie Marison Music Award is presented to a graduating student who has demonstrated excellence in music, Brandon Q. Could I now ask Victoria Graff and Reverend Cho to please make their way to the stage?
The Footprints Compassion Award recognizes and celebrates selfless acts of kindness and compassion displayed by an outstanding grade 12 student. This year's recipient is Danielle Fernandez. Mr. Blatt. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. We're ready for the national anthem now. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gibson. At this time, I would like to ask the subject award winners to start lining up against the left hand wall and parents, if possible, if you could take pictures from the right side, uh, we will wait to take those, those pictures, not from the center. Okay. So before I call on Mr. Stoitsiadis to begin the presentation of the subject's awards, it's our privilege to bestow all English language awards in honor of Mr. Kevin Rooney, whose generous spirit lives on in us always. Hello, everybody. I'd first like to call upon Mr. Radulovich to present the following awards. The Accounting Principals Award goes to Harrison Stahl. Business Leadership Awards goes to Nadia Kulik. So parents, you may come to the middle once your child comes to the middle so you can get a, book, a good picture. The next business leadership award goes to Ava Latham. Communications Technology Award goes to Dimitri Lalusis. The Computer Engineering Award goes to Alexi El Moore.
The second computer engineering award goes to Anda Sue. The Computer Science Award goes to Michael Pooh. And the Financial Security Award and International Business Award goes to Anjana Sumasundaram. Thank you, Mr. Radulovic. Now I'd like to call upon Ms. Bengal to present the following awards. The Advanced Functions and Calculus and Vectors Award goes to Miranda Liu. The Advanced Functions and Calculus and Vectors Award in the Gifted Program goes to Emily Mende. The Foundations for College Mathematics Award goes to Keelan McIntyre. The Mathematics of Data Management Award goes to Yanglin Chen. Thank you, Ms. Bengal. Now I'd like to call upon Ms. Barkley to present the following awards. The Biology Award goes to Janie Song. And the Biology Award in the Gifted Program goes to Emily Mende. Thank you, Ms. Barkley. Now I'd like to call upon Mr. Jesus. The next award is the Chemistry Award going to Miranda Liu. The Chemistry Award in the Gifted Program to Michael Pooh. The Physics Award goes to Miranda Liu.
and the Physics Award gifted goes to Michael Rakowski. Thank you, Mr. Jesus. Now I'd like to call upon Mr. Gross to hand out the next set of awards. The first award is the Canadian and Inter International Law Award, which goes to Candace Nguyen. The Challenge and Change in Society Award goes to Eva Ja. <laughs> the Equity and Social Justice Award goes to Nala Hela Selassie. The World History Award goes to Christine Ah. The Philosophy Award goes to Natalie Vesey. The World Cultures Award goes to Claire Kim. <laughs> and the Economic Issues Award goes to Natalie Vesey again. Thank you, Mr. Gross. Now I'd like to call Mr. Salakis to present the English Awards. Our first English Award winner is Miranda Liu. Our English Award gifted and Jana Soma Sundaram. And a second English Award winner in gifted, Michael Rakowski. The Kevin Rooney Writer's Craft Award goes to Christine Ann. And the College English Award goes to Keelan McIntyre. Thank you, gentlemen. Next, I'd like to call Miss Ella Rabi, 
present the French Awards. The French Award goes to Maria Nocorina. And the French Award gifted goes to Remy Sampalano. Thank you, Ms. Elrabi. Now I'd like to call upon Ms. Bell. The health, excuse me, the Physical and Health Education Award for female goes to Zoe Ziegel Gothus. Goth <laughs> The Physical and Health Education Award for the male goes to Alok Basnet. The Kinesiology Award goes to Nina Dixon. The Recreation and Fitness Leadership Award goes to Jacob Ibrahim. Thank you, Ms. Bell. Now I'd like to call on Mr. McAllister. The Cyber Arts Award goes to Flora Wang. Thank you, Mr. McAllister. Now I'd like to call upon Ms. Murnau. Ms. Murnau will be handing out the music award going to Shash Shank Anand Kanan. <laughs> the repertoire award goes to Kyle Torres. <laughs> The Visual Arts Award goes to Thomas Prista. The Dramatic Arts Award goes to Lucia Kang. The Photography Award goes to Mackenzie Vaughn Graham. <laughs> and
and the painting award goes to Alicia Wu. Thank you, Ms. Murnau. Now I'd like to call upon Ms. Varelis. Ms. Varelis will be handing out the Technical Design Award to Dimitri Lelousis. The Green Industry Award to Emily Mende. The Cooperative Education Award to Molly McNevin. and the Hospitality and Tourism Award to Victor Tam. <laughs> Congratulations to all our subject award winners. Graduates, yeah, that's pretty lame, 2019. Okay, let's hear an enthusiastic greeting for your valedictorian, Danielle Fernandez. Oh, I don't even fill up half of the screen. <laughs> All right, um, good evening, parents, families, teachers, honored guests, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2019. Yeah. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Danielle Fernandez, and I'm very honored to be representing you guys today. So here we all gather in this room from very different walks of life to celebrate what our four years at Don Mills CI have amounted to. Writing this speech was kind of difficult for me because it's hard to think what brings this huge, diverse group of kids together. From cyber to gifted, to best buddies, to the music groups, it's hard to think of what really encompasses everything. However, I realize that although we all collectively share the same building and community, we have all had our own personal experiences within these walls. There are so many takeaways and memories we've collected, some of them being always eat breakfast before a quiet morning class, how to be equitable, and factoring will sadly be used in most aspects of math. So, <laughs> but one of my most fond memories of this class throughout the years was our grade 10 literacy test, <laughs> if some of you guys remember. <laughs> wow. yeah. I remember being in a classroom trying to type as fast as I possibly could, and then all of a sudden, the screen blinked. Although the assessment didn't follow suit in the way that it was designed to, we were all able to share a very big pizza lunch as a community. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> We've been through the highest of highs and lots and lots of lows. Some of our highs being competing internationally in DECA, competing in OFSA, or acing the test we forgot we had. While some of the lows for us being not getting the mark you wanted on the exam, not making it to pass, uh, not making it to playoffs, or not passing the test you forgot you had. <laughs> 
We've had both success and failures in these past four years. However, your successes aren't the same as the person next to you or the one on the other side. <laughs> Don't be holding yourself to someone else's standard. We are all so successful and we should be really proud of ourselves no matter where we're off to next year. Whether we're getting an award today, whether we're, what our final average was, you should be very proud of yourselves. And we've all finished high school one way or another, and that is what we're celebrating. There have been so many people who shaped and molded us into the people we are today. So thank you to all the teachers for teaching us. Thank you for teaching us lessons beyond the textbook. These incredible leaders here have facilitated environments that have allowed us to feel comfortable to both learn and speak our minds. Thank you for running groups, clubs, running events, morning practices, and organizing trips to make high school so much more enjoyable. Thank you so much to the student teachers, the guidance counselors, and administrators for fixing our timetables when we change our minds, offering advice, and making the decisions we make good ones. To our parents and guardians, thank you so much for the constant support and pouring so much love into us these past four years. You've sacrificed a lot of time and effort for us to be able to walk across this stage today. Being that it's now our time to move on and take on this really crazy world we're about to step into, I hope you hold the memories you've made and the friends you've made, as well as the lessons you've learned, dear to your heart. I don't know what the future holds for any of us, but I wish you all well and good luck on your future endeavors, and thank you all, and congratulations, class of 2019. <laughs>Thank you, Danielle. And now's the time where you'll all be walking across and receiving your diplomas. This is a very exciting time. We're very impressed with this class. A lot of tremendous talent, confidence, uh, intelligence, kindness. So we're just as proud as your parents. And I would now call on Mr. Hall and Ms. Rayner to announce the Ontario Secondary School Diploma recipients. That would be you guys. They'll direct you where to go. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Blatt. We're just going to get organized here. Uh, in order to facilitate these proceedings, I ask the audience to refrain from applauding until all of our recipients. We'll do it in three stages because we have uh, all of our administration of principal first. We're going to ask Mr. Bushel to come up, and then when he finishes his group, we'll do a nice round of applause for his group, and then we'll bring up uh, uh, Ms. Savaraja and continue in that fashion. Graduates, make sure you have your blue card or I have to make stuff up. Okay, we're ready to begin, I think. Bari Abdul. He's attending Ryerson University. Chemistry, my favorite subject. <laughs> Romesa Abdul, she's studying at Seneca, practical nursing. Yusuf Abu Rakabi, attending York University, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Patrick Ago, uh, he's going to the University of Toronto, Physical and Environmental Science.
Antik Ahmed is going to Western University in General Science Program. Atir Ahmed going to Oyat Legal Studies. Tanzin Ahmed, he's going to the University of Toronto Computer Science Program. Christine Ahn, going to Queen's University for the Concurrent Education Program. Arman Ali, he's going to York University Cinema and Media Studies. Salman Ali, he's going to the University of Waterloo Civil Engineering Program. Usman Ali, He's going to Ryerson University Biomedical Sciences. Shashank Anand Kanan. He's going to the University of Waterloo Computer Engineering. Liana Andres is going to Ryerson University to study nursing. Liam Andrews is off to Western University to study business. Jane Arsavangil will be attending Western University, studying nutritional sciences. Amira Ayub is off to study at the Canada Border Security. Thank you. Carl Bernard Barbadillo is taking a gap year. Jad Bazma is going to Western University to study kinesiology and has an entrance scholarship. Alok Basnet is off to the adult high school studying life sciences. Janelle Beals Knight is going to Centennial College studying mental health and addiction. Colby Bendel is off to George Brown College to study construction trade techniques. Bethlehem Bet will be off to Ryerson to study child and youth care. Yeah. Rena Eliza Butera going to Western University to study childhood and social institution and was awarded an entrance scholarship.
Eamon Fatima is off to Wilfrid Laurier University to study a Bachelor of Business Administration. Yudi Kao is off to OCAD University to study illustration. Iman Carino, gap year. Aaron Chan, he's going to university, computer science. <laughs> Hanlin Chang, going to U of T, life sciences. Manus Chawla, he's going to the London School of Economics and Political Science, Bachelor of Science International Relations. <laughs> Jia Chen, going to University of Waterloo, math. Sean Chen, Uni Waterloo University, Computer Engineering. We just have a brief housekeeping announcement. And we're wondering if the parents, instead of being in the middle aisle, could come around and be down here, come up front, take your picture, and then, because we're just having a little bit of bottleneck congestion here. So if everyone in the middle here could just go around and come down this aisle here, Okay, is that possible? Okay, here we go. Yan Ling Chen, University of Pennsylvania, Engineering and Economics. <laughs> Aida Chikuta, going to York University, International Development. Guinevere Gordon, Corden, going to Ryerson University in the RTA School of New Media. <laughs> Nadia Kulik, University of Western Ontario, Health Science. Lucas Cuddle, Victory Lap. <laughs> Salima Dahir, University of Guelph, Biochemistry. <laughs> Samuel de Monteverde, Gap Year. Nina Dixon, Western University Health Science. <laughs> Alexandra Dunsova, University of Guelph, Bachelor of Engineering. Arguan Ibrahimi, continuing education at Kelk. <laughs> Alexi Elmore, University of Toronto, Engineering Science.
Khaled El Batum is off to York University to study kinesiology and health sciences. Irene Fang will be going to the University of Toronto to study life science. Tanya Figedero is off to Western University with an entrance scholarship of $1,750, studying social science. <laughs> Rachel Fenton will be going to Trent University to study biomedical science with an entrance scholarship. Janelle Farron is taking a gap year, but then is off to Coventry University in 2020 to study nursing. Shanice Francis Campbell, off to Ryerson University to study sociology with an entrance scholarship. Lucia Galperin is off to York University to study communication studies with an entrance scholarship. Yan Gao is off to Ryerson University to study architectural science. Lisha Jacana is off to York University to study theater. Celine Gould will be off to uh, Ryerson University to study nursing. Nathaniel Grant, off to Humber College to study multimedia design and development. Angela Gribben is off to OCAD University to study interior design. George Gu will be studying at Western University, studying business. Henry Gu is off to York University to study computer science. And here it says the science of the computer. Mark Guan will be studying at the University of Waterloo, computer engineering. Nala Abera Haila Selassie is off to the University of Toronto in the Peace, Conflict, and Justice program. Tasif Hanif is off to the University of Toronto in the Engineering program. Reed Harrison will be going to the Western University Kings, studying social science with an entrance scholarship. Wow. Sumaya Hassan is off to the University of Toronto St. George, studying life sciences. Salma Hamad is off to York University studying kinesiology with an entrance scholarship. <laughs> Cynthia Hoffman Bakusis is off to Seneca College studying broadcasting TV. Beyonce. Beyonce Hogan, Humber College, Child and Youth Work.
Thomas Hirstuff, attending Ryerson University Business Management. Jacob Ibrahim is attending the University of Western Ontario Kinesiology. <laughs> Sadia Idris, ECE, Early Childhood Education. Ryan Ismail, attending Centennial College Electrical Apprenticeship Program. All right, thank you, Mr. Bushel. And we're going to call on Ms. Sivaraja to please join us for the next set of uh, graduates. We can do a big round of applause for our first group, please. Parents, remember, you could step up to the middle to take a photograph of your child. Shakira James, Humber College, Child and Youth Care. Lucius Jednik, uh, attending University of Toronto Scarborough, Humanities and Social Sciences. Yuxing Jia, attending Western Ontario University, Social Science and Business. Elijah Joseph Barrett is having a gap year. Kinda Kakuni. Ryerson University, Professional Communication. Ya Lucia Kang, attending University of Toronto Mathematics. Yasmin Karaman is attending OCAD University, Material Art and Design, with a metal smithing specialty. <laughs> Brinda Karanunanthan is attending McMaster University, Life Science. Stephen Katsis, gap year. <laughs> Taha Kazmi, University of Toronto Sciences. <laughs> Kajanan Kathisawaran, York University Design. Robab Khan, University of Toronto Economics. Claire Kim, Acadia University, Psychology, Bachelor of Arts, and she received an entrance scholarship. Gavin Kim, University of Toronto Architectural Studies. Hajin Kim, University of Toronto Engineering. Jinha Jason Kim, Douglas College, New Westminster, Geological Resources. Good job. Mark Kim. Job. 
JBS. I'm JBS. Okay. Mark Kim, JBS Job Readiness Program. Eugene Kim, University of Toronto Psychology Co-op. She got a U of T scholarship. Isa Kulkarni, University of Waterloo, Design and Business. She got a Waterloo President Scholarship. Antonio Lelusis, Wilfrid Laurier University, Biology. Dimitri Lelusis is off to Queen's University to study engineering. Constantino Lelusis is off to university to study architecture. Ava, Ava Latham will be attending Queen's University studying commerce. David Lau is off to Seneca to study fundamentals of art and design. Erica Lee is off to McMaster University to study life science with an entrance scholarship. <laughs> Stephen Lee will be attending York University studying business. <laughs> Catherine Lay is off to McGill University studying physical science, earth science. Cole Lecce will be attending the University of Western Ontario in computer science. <laughs> Jeffrey Lim is off to Guelph University studying engineering. Rose Lynn is off to the University of Waterloo to study computer engineering. Yu Pei Lin is off to the University of Waterloo studying electrical engineering. <laughs> Urjun Liu is off to Humber College studying photography. Ming-Yu Miranda Liu will be off to the University of Waterloo studying computer science and business administration double degree. Thank you, okay, thank you Samuel Liu off to the University of Waterloo to study computer engineering. Kewen Luong is going DMCI? G gap year. Victory lap. <laughs> Keelan McIntyre is off to Centennial College for early childhood Thank education. You. Shazan Mahmood will be heading, headed off to the University of Waterloo for computer engineering. Ioannis Manos is doing an apprenticeship in plumbing. Yes, 
Sadiq Mazloum is off to Seneca College to study electrical engineering. <laughs> Alyssa McMillan is off to Ryerson University for nursing. Molly McNiven is off to Ryerson University for sociology. Jack McPherson is off to McMaster University for psychology. Ryan Mertash is undecided. Alexander Mayusi is off to Ryerson University for Radio Television Arts Media Production with an Entrance Scholarship. Emily Mende is off to the University of Waterloo for Biomedical Engineering with a President's Scholarship of Distinction. Haroon Mohideen is off to Ryerson University for as to study English. Yiru Mu is off to the University of Toronto Mississauga for the CCIT program. Sarah Mushtak is off to the University of Toronto for computer science and is, of U, and is a U of T scholar. <laughs> Slaymom Naimi is going to NASA for Mars. Alan Najjar is off to the University of Toronto for Physiological Health Science. Aryan Namarani is off to the University of Sydney for Life Science. Hussein Nawaz is off to Ryerson University for civil engineering. <laughs> Samantha Newman is off to Seneca College and York University studying education. <laughs> Beverly Ng is off to McMaster University for life science gateway. Candice Nguyen is off to the University of Toronto for international development and is a U of T scholar. <laughs> Catherine Nee is off to the Parsons School of Design, the new school, to study illustration with an entrance scholarship. Angela New is off to the University of Toronto for Life Sciences. <laughs> Maria Nakrina is off to the University of Toronto for Life Sciences. <laughs> Ilona Nusis is off to Wilfrid Laurier. Ilona Nusis is off to Wilfrid Laurier University for psychology. Kimberly, 
Kimberly Okafor, attending Ryerson University, public health, and she got an entrance scholarship. Rubsha Panjwani, University of Toronto, Management and International Business. She got a $1,500 entrance scholarship. Mahboud Parsian, York University, Criminology. Kushi Patel, Pratt Institute, Architecture. Davy Brifty, Ryerson University, Civil Engineering. Michael Poo, University of Waterloo, Software Engineering. Brandon Q, York University Commerce Honors Program. Michael Rechkovsky, University of Toronto. My second favorite subject, physics. Abadir Rahman, University of Toronto Life Sciences. He got a three thousand. Dollar entrance scholarship. Last one for you, Miss Everage, okay? Krista Rashik, George Brown College Health and Fitness Promotion. All right, thank you, Ms. Savaraja. We'll give a big hand of applause for our second group and call up Ms. Evans for our final group, please. <laughs> Victoria Real, she's first taking a gap year and then she's going to Emily Carr for illustration. Aiden Ross, Humber College, Child and Youth Care. Ian Roxas, Ryerson University Accounting and Finance. Remy Sampalanu, University of Western Ontario, Medical Sciences. He got a Western Scholarship of Excellence. Ethan Rodensky, he's coming back to DMCI 404 Not Found. Maria Sanchez, OCAD University Interdisciplinary Studies. Luke, Lucas Sav, University of Guelph Kinesiology. Amadullah Shah, University of Toronto Life Science and Entrance Scholarship. Shakshi Sharma, University of Toronto, Management and International Business, a $1,500 entrance scholarship. Sean Sharp, Western University Business.
Omar Shieb, Ryerson University Civil Engineering. Got himself an entrance scholarship. <laughs> Serene Sresta, Trent University Health Sciences. Leighton Shum, University of Western Ontario Medical Sciences. Sohini Sichter, Ryerson University Business Management. Abir Singh, Sheridan College Art Fundamentals. Anjana Sumasandram, University of Western Ontario Business. Janie Song, McMaster University, Nursing. Aaron Solmaz, he's doing a gap year and then he's going to York University in 2020 for business and finance. Sakai Song, University of Waterloo, Honors Mathematics. Maya Sawinski, taking a gap year, traveling the world. Harrison Stahl, University of Waterloo, Accounting and Financial Management. Nathan Stahl, Wilfrid Laurier University, Business Administration. Charlotte Steele is off to Centennial College for Police Foundations. Sarah Stermoli is off to York University for Chemistry. Zornitsa Stoymanova is off to York University to study design. Jenna Stokes is off to Sheridan to study illustration. And Sue is off to the University of Waterloo for computer engineering. Haley Talbot Dolby is off to University of Toronto to study social science. Victor Tam is off to Ryerson University School of Performance for performance production. Allison Tenna is off to Sheridan College for art fundamentals. Michael Tashoma is off, uh, is undecided? You're taking a gap year? Undecided. Undecided. <laughs> Vivishan Therakumar is off to Western University for Health Sciences. Kennedy Thompson is studying continuing education at CALP. <laughs> Kevin Tian is off to McMaster University for Automotive and Vehicle Engineering. Yeah. 
Evelyn Ting is taking a gap year. Kyle Torres is off to Tyndale University for a Bachelor of Music Performance. He has the Timothy Award, President's Scholarship Award, Community Life Grant, and Invitational Scholarship Award. Anthony Tuntas is taking a victory lap and then off to paramedicine. It's better than medicine. Vaidehi Trivedi is off to the University of Toronto Scarborough for life sciences. Brandon Sang is off to the University of Waterloo, Physical Sciences, Life Physics major. <laughs> Braveen Vera Tharaja is off to Ryerson University for Mechanical Engineering. Mackenzie Vaughn Graham is off to Carleton University for industrial design. <laughs> Natalie Brianna Vasey is off to Queen's University for concurrent education with the Queen's University President Scholarship and the designation of a Horatio Alger National Scholar. Kavya Vijayan is off to University of Toronto to study life sciences. <laughs> Praveen Vikneswaraja is off to University of Waterloo for mechanical engineering. Dinar Amir Varani is off to the University of Toronto St. George for industrial engineering with the BMO William A. Downey Scholarship and the Dean's Merit Award Scholarship. Wow. That's a lot of awards and scholarships. David Wang is off to the University of Toronto for psychological and health sciences. Flora Wang is off to Western University to study business. <laughs> Catherine Wang is off to Queen's University for nursing. Flora. Maggie Wang is off to McMaster University for life sciences. Spring Wang is off to McMaster University for life science. Hodo Wardair is off to Ryerson University for honors biology with an entrance scholarship. Yvonne Wei is off to the University of Sydney for a Bachelor of Commerce and Business Management. <laughs> Shu Ting Wang is off to the University of Waterloo, Environment and Business. Congratulations. Congratulations. Eileen Whitcomb is doing a victory lap. Erica Wong is off to Ryerson University for architectural science.
Gabriel Wong is off to York University for kinesiology. Yours is the neatest handwriting by far. Yes. <laughs> Alicia Wu is off to Western University for management and organizational studies with an entrance scholarship. Joy Xu is off to McMaster University for Health Sciences with the President's Scholarship of Distinction. <laughs> Alex Yang is off to the University of Waterloo for Civil Engineering. <laughs> Gary Yi is off to University of Waterloo for Electrical Engineering. Tanuj Yeramashadi is off to Wilfrid Laurier University, Physics and Chemistry, and his scholarship is a Tuni from Neville. Like Yanni Manyan Yi is off to Seneca College for Visual Merchandising Arts. Jeffrey Ting Young is going to Ryerson University for Hotel and Tourism Management. Malaika Zahid is off to the University of Toronto for management with a 1,000 entrance scholarship. Alexandra Zekos is off to Seneca College for early childhood education. Jay Dew is off to McMaster University for engineering. Laura Zeng is off to OCAD University to study illustration. Karen Zhang is off to Western University for medical science. Lindy Zhang is off to the University of Waterloo for honors, arts, and business co-op. Yuki Zhang is off to Western University for MOS Management. Jesse Zwong is off to the University of Waterloo for Architectural Engineering with a President's Scholarship. David Zolia is off to the University of Toronto for social sciences anthropology after a gap year. <laughs> Zoe Zigotegos is off to Ryerson University for honors biology. And Daniel Fernandez is off to McMaster University for social science. It's over, yeah. All right, over to Mr. Blatt. Nice. So this brings us to the conclusion of our evening. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our colleagues for their efforts tonight. Please save your applause for the end. Mr. Hall and Ms. Rayner for announcing. Ms. Whiteside and our concert band, thank you.
The awards committee, commencement committee, marshalling team, office staff, the ambassadors for helping to put this ceremony together. Thank you all for enduring this master of ceremony. <laughs> what were they thinking? Following the recessional, we invite the award winners, graduates, parents, and guests to join the staff for refreshments. Please stand while the platform party leaves the stage. You graduated! Mazel tov! Ba 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 ba.